Alright, going to try show the Lion run on gold. Um, let's hope I can actually do this when showing it. It worked fine before, but I found it. Jump over here. Now, get through this. Jump up here. Move over here. And now instead of going up top, rush with the number one skill down here. Hop over here. Go here. Now, use the number three skill to fly over there, and then the number one skill to get closer to this target. Once again, it's slow enough. Use this thing to refresh the skills. Run over here. Charge through here. Go here. Teleport at max range to that area over there. Jump normally across here. Charge here. Over through. Now go to the right. There's a refresh spot here. Use it. Immediately jump forward to that spot. Use a run. And you should just make it in time. I was a second to slow this time. Um, going through it once again in slow. So it's easier to follow the steps. A simple task. Number three skill over here. Number three is the little teleport, which sends you to a target location. The number one skill will make you charge. These skills refresh either when you hit one of these checkpoints, or when you use one of those um, little items on the ground. I'm going to show one when I get there. Um, the only skills you're going to need are the number three to teleport, and the number one to dash forward. Now, after we've made it through this checkbox, uh, check mark, just go here, checkpoint the word I was thinking of. Use the number 3 skill, you can see the targeting cursor. It has a very short range, you can see it locking there. Um, port yourself over here. And now, usually you'd be tempted to grab the symbol up there, but instead go here and use the number 1 skill to dash into this line, to this ley line, and then from this corner jump over here. Now your skill's refreshed because you hit the checkpoint. Jump up to this ledge and then use the number 3 skill to target over there. Most of the ways to jump here won't give you a clear line of sight, but this one does. Then use the number one skill to charge through. These are the symbols I was talking about. You have to stand pretty much directly on them and press once to activate them. Now use the number three to jump over there. Um, this is done at max range, and one thing I should mention is that it's very important to have your... where was it again? Um, lock ground target at maximum skill range. You want to have this enabled, really. Otherwise, some of the jumps are going to be really difficult. Now, after you've made this jump with a number three skill, use the number one to charge forward, because your skills will refresh at the checkpoint anyhow. Jump up to this, and this is very important, because now you can just, with the uh, ground target indicator locked at max range, just blindly target in the direction up there, and it'll send you to the correct point. I actually jumped to short here, hitting this thing. Um, usually, you're supposed to land up here. Um, it doesn't really cost you much time and should still be okay. Now you jump normally to here. As soon as you're on here, charge forward. Um, don't wait for too long with this. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back to the start now. So you can see this part again. Done faster. Number three over there. Jumping normally to here. Number three to there. With the number one skill in the hole here. Jumping over, going up there, using the number three skill to get there, the number one skill to charge, refreshing skills here, jumping there, charging again, going to this point, number three over there, and this time I jumped correctly. Now go here, charge forward, jump through here. Okay, now the other part. As soon as you're through this checkpoint, there's a refresh point over there. Jump over, immediately use it, then you're just barely going to be able to target this area. Do that, and then use the number one skill to charge forward. But see, I nearly made it in time this time. If you do it without the explaining, then this should be uh, fast enough. Anyhow, hope this video helps. Bye.